Shifting to some other news now, India's space agency ISRO just announced that they are all set for a crucial rocket flight test this Saturday. As part of this, ISRO will launch a rocket and shut it down mid-flight to test how to save a potential astronaut carrying capsule from it. Now to bring you more on this, Vyond's senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to ISRO's chief, Dr. S. Somanathan. Listen. When you're building a fighter aircraft, one of the most important technologies to master is how to eject the pilot in case of an uncertainty or a mishap. The same thing ISRO is doing now for astronauts to test how the escape system can be tested in Gaganyaan. Sir, kindly tell us about this TVD-1 mission. TVD-1 mission is one of the mission of the Gaganyaan for which uh, we have uh, realized a vehicle now and going to be launched on 21st. This is specifically designed to, for a purpose. The purpose here is to test the crew escape system. The crew system is a complex uh, system in which we have a, uh, a method to identify a potential failure that's going to happen in the rocket, not after failure. Imminent failure, we call it. You must detect that and must take an action to move the crew from an exploding, going to explode vehicle far away so that it doesn't affect them. There are so many issues like the blast wave will come, the fuel, the flame will engulf them, uh, the systems will be damaged and it will fall on the sea at the together so you cannot save them. So there are a lot of issues. So we fixed a distance called minimum of two kilometers, they should fall in the sea. So to achieve that, you need to move the crew in less than a second or at the most two seconds in time away from the vehicle. So this requires very fast acting solid motors, very high burn rate. And they must be commanded to separate the crew module from the vehicle and then take it away to some distance. So this scheme cannot be tested in ground. It has to be tested only in, in the flight because aerodynamics is very important. So the altitude is important. The flight conditions are important. So we, we are creating this failure scenario as a different events. This can happen anytime from lift off at the launch pad it will happen. So at the launch pad we had tested this recently called pad about test. That test was done. Now it is to be tested in the flight. So this is a test for such a system. So we have solid motors, we have detectant, then aerodynamic control surfaces, parachutes, everything is there. So crew module after this will come back and land in the sea. So when you're doing this landing in the sea and this ejection mechanism basically, are you going to give an eject command or is it going to do it on its own? Uh, right now it is going to do it on its own. It is a pre-programmed eject sequence. Uh, it can be done in autonomous mode also, but then that is not important for this mission. The mission is the pillbox is important. We want to achieve this ejection at a given conditions of the flight. So on board there is a computer looking at the condition of the flight. When the condition of the flight is called Mach number 1.2 is reaching, it will automatically shut down the engine as if the, en the rocket has shut down. Now you have to eject the crew. So this is a pre-planned programming. 